Hey loves, it's your girl Nay here. Welcome back to the neighborhood. So today I am bringing you Bantu Not Vibes. Let's do this bomb ass back to school Bantu Not tutorial. Yeah. I know that everybody's going back to school soon and I'm pretty sure that you <laughs> I'm pretty sure that you're looking for a hairstyle. I figured that I'll help you guys out with a nice, quick, easy, protective hairstyle that looks like you did a lot of work, but you really didn't do a lot of work. Um, I'll be honest, it takes a little time, but it, it's not, it really isn't that much work. So, if you guys are interested in how I came up with this cute, protective style, please stay tuned. Oh, that's why I'm sitting here like... I'm sitting here trying to figure out why my iTunes are in its feelings, because... <laughs> It was in its feelings. <laughs> yeah, my shirt is inside out. Yay, my ring pop matches my shirt. <laughs> Get ready for school shall we <laughs> okay so if you follow me on instagram i'm gonna be already seen this hairstyle it's been a little revamped of course i got thicker um uh this is this is not really thread this is kind of like fabric i don't know what this is but string anyway so i did that and i put the beads back in of course they're a lot neater i just did them over and i'm going to show you guys how i add the uh, extension hair to my hair and then we're gonna get right into the whole styling for back to school. So, okay. All right, let's jump right in. Okay, so I took out. I'm gonna do one at a time. I'll show it to you twice. Let's let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. All right. So I hope you guys can hear me. I'm super paranoid about if you can hear me or not. Okay, I think I feel a little more comfortable with that for now. Okay, so I'm starting off with stretched hair, of course, because I just took it out of a braid. I'm trying to readjust my mirror so I can see what I'm doing. I'm also trying to see what's up. No, oh, we're not listening to this. That I don't have on. Alright, so yeah, as I said, I was starting off with stretched hair. I'm just going to take my water bottle and spritz my hair really quickly. Just ever so slightly. I don't want to make it super wet because I still want it in that stretch state. And then I'm going to just finger detangle a little bit, which is going to be easier considering the fact that it's stretched. And I didn't wash my hair, I just redid the twists, I've had them in, um, the twists, I redid the braids. I've had them in for about two weeks now. So I figured that, you know, I need a little touch up. Next, I'm going to be using this As I Am Leave-In Conditioner. I'm just going to add a little bit of that. This is my first time using it. <laughs> and I must say that in comparison to the Cantu, which you guys must know that I love because I'm using it all the time. Um, this, this, uh, and it mixes well with the Eco Salad Gel. So, I mean, you like my bars? Just that. take about this much and I'm working it mostly concentrating on my ends because once you know your ends are the oldest part of your hair so you want to make sure that it's moisturized because you want to keep that that length you know what I'm saying you want to retain that length okay next I'm going to be taking my dark and lovely coconut oil <laughs> this is just some coconut oil in a dark and lovely bottle actually I can show you guys what coconut oil it is give me a second I'm actually using the Thrive Focus, they go. The Thrive Market Coconut Oil. It is organic, ethically sourced, uh, organic, non-GMO, paleo. That's how you pronounce that, right? Okay, yeah. Vegan, gluten-free, ethically, ethically sourced, cholesterol-free, and no trans fat. Yes. I wanted to put it in an applicator bottle, and I had recently dyed my hair, as you guys can see. Um, I know that you noticed. Like two videos now, I think. No, one video. Two videos? One video? I... 
my hair is black. <laughs> so I'm taking the coconut oil. I'm just going to be applying that to my scalp, directly to my scalp. I'm going to take my fingers and just... And I'm going to take some of that into on the tips of my fingers so that I can run it through the rest of the hair. Now I'm taking my Eco Styler Gel. This is the Black Castor and um, Black Seed. I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my finger, about this much. And I'm running that along the edges of the parts. And just for the front hair, I'm going to take some of my Gorilla Snot. So, I think that I should zoom you guys in as much as possible. Alrighty! First, 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 sorry. Let's bring it back down a little bit. So you first things first, I used Molly hair. You can use any pack of Molly hair that you would like. I used two packs. I can't remember the brand right now, sorry, because I did do this two weeks ago and I threw away the packaging. Right. Anyway, but you can use any Molly hair that you want. I used two packs, and for each braid, I used about five to seven strands. When I took it out of the package and I cut them in half, and then I pulled out five to seven strands, cut them in half, and now I'm going to start braiding. Okay. The first, uh, the thing that I do is I make sure that I have all of the hair in my hand, and then I take one third piece of that chunk. I take the hair and I twist it around. I secure it in my hand. And now I'm going to take that part that I twisted and I put it right there where we separated the two pieces of hair. With my left hand, or my non-dominant hand, I'm mostly right-handed, I'm holding the larger section. And in my dominant hand, which is my right hand, I'm taking that and I'm twisting it. With it twisted and securely in my right hand, and I'm going to separate my hair. My and I take the Molly hair and I put it in the furthest piece away from my right hand. So now I have those three pieces here. Then I'm going to start braiding. Twisting over. And I start braiding. I just start braiding regularly. When I get maybe like about three ways down, I'm going to borrow some from the Molly hair. And then I'm going to continue braiding. Okay, so that's one. Hopefully, I explained this one a lot better than I explained the first one. Okay, so let's do this one more time. Stretch hair, spritz, finger to tangle, leave in conditioner, oil. Gorilla Snot Guys, I was looking for the other piece for this side and I didn't realize that I braided it into <laughs> So that was my failed attempt to show you guys how to braid with the extensions. 
but I hope that you guys understood it for the most part. Now, of course, you can wear your hair just like this if you wanted to, but this is the first day of school, so we gotta wrap it up, you know, we stepping out, or in, whatever. So, I'm going to banter knot most of these, or china bump most of these, and then I'll show you guys these two, okay? So, I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. What I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna stick the hair straight up, alright? And the same way with a regular banter knot is the same way how I'm going to banter knot my hair. So, I'm just gonna twist the hair around itself, but I'm doing it very, very loosely because we have extensions on it. And I just wrap it around, wrap it around until that's it. And then I kind of just mold it to my liking. Next side. And I would say to twist it around where, however the hair is telling you to twist it, twist it that way. Don't force it the other direction because then it will be way too tight and you don't want to break your hair. You want to protect your hair. I just adjust them however I kind of see fit. The ones with the strings were really easy to band to not. It's just the same as this just because the string is the string. But the ones with the beads, however, you can't tuck them under. So what I did was just take a bobby pin and I secured it with a bobby pin. And that's about it. Yes, so I will be back with the final look and my outro and all of that jazz. Okay, okay. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I did my baby hairs. I made sure that everything was just secure and, and all of that. I made sure that my lock was hanging low to and fro. Okay, anyway. Um, I hope you guys should... I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I hope that you thought it was helpful. It was fun. Um, if you do decide to recreate this look, please make sure to post pictures and tag me, tag Neonada or Shanae Marie, and I will see it at my earliest convenience and be able to stalk you guys. Speaking of stalking, all my links are below so you guys can go and check out all my social media. Stalk me, like I say, all the time. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you on the flip side. So